I never know how to start these things because I end up saying the same thing every time. Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. So David and I are both gonna go into London today. We've been invited by Harrods to go to a, I think it's like a fashion show. It's like a Burberry, it's like the new autumn winter 2017 collection of Burberry that's being unveiled. And I don't, I don't really know how it's gonna work. It starts at seven and it ends at 9 p.m. We've just arrived at, um, the Harrods car park as always. We're gonna walk into Harrods now. We've probably got about, um, what time is it? Got nearly half past four. You always do this laughing thing on the camera. Um, we've probably got a couple of hours until the show starts. So I'm in a changing room. I've got a whole load of stuff here that I'm gonna try on. The first thing is this, you know these pajama tops? Sorry, I'm whispering. This is my outfit. Should we go? Let's go and get something to eat. It's in here, I think. Why? Well, it's not in here, it's through. No, you bypass it, don't worry. Right, what are we gonna have? We've basically got like half an hour before we have to go. So we could get something to eat. Because if it doesn't finish until nine, and then I've got to be up early in the morning. <coughs> We've just eaten, we're on our way now. I think we're, as per usual, just on time. Um, yeah, level one. What the hell did I just do? I just nearly fell down the escalator. This is the dreaded store where it all happened. You know what I'm saying? I cringe whenever I walk past it. Shut down. You shut it down. <laughs> no, it didn't. That's where it happened. Oh, good, it hasn't started yet. My feet are killing me. Are yours? We've been stood up now for about half an hour and we're just waiting for the show to start. It says 7 30. They're running a bit late. We are very happy for the second season in a row to be able to show you the See Now Wear Well collection. And the team and I are all here to answer any questions that you might have. And we are very excited to take you through this beautiful collection. So, with no further ado, I'm very happy with Sara to pull the curtain and unveil the first glimpse of this beautiful collection. Enjoy. so long so I thought let's do a vlog today is the weirdest day I'm going into London wear my brace in case it sounds weird um, I'm going into London and I'm you know the place where I go to get my skin lasered 
they phoned me up last week and they were like, we have got a training day. Do you want to come in and get this? Do you want to get your knees lasered? So I was like, all right, I'll take that. So I'm going to go and do that. Then I've got a meeting. Then I'm going to be meeting my friend after. Let me really quickly show you what I'm wearing. I would do this in the bedroom, only it's such a mess. <laughs> in there that it's like not going to work. But I'm going to wear my Balmain blazer with um, this Gucci belt. And then this, this is that cashmere jumper that I got from um, Joseph that I told you about. I really like it. It's really lightweight. But as I say, I'm just worried I'm going to be too hot. Then... For the bag, I'm gonna take the Chanel. And then just to really quickly show you the trousers. These are actually new. These are rag and bone. I am loving rag and bone trousers these days. I'm also not running late today, which is so nice. So um, let's go. Oh yeah, one other thing that I was gonna tell you when I'm in London today is, do you remember last year, you know the Chanel slingbacks? like the granny shoes that ended up being a really big thing. Well, I've got a hunch that I know what the 2017 alternative is gonna be. I think that if you bought those shoes, they're still gonna be cool because I've already seen people wearing them for like spring, summer, but I think, actually I'm not even gonna say, I'm just gonna show you them later and then you can decide. They are from the new collection at Dior. I don't even know if they're gonna have them, but we'll check it out. So, I'm just waiting at this level crossing. I swear to God, every single time I come up this road, I can look at this level crossing and know that those gates are gonna go down. And every time it happens. After the laser, I don't know how my knees are gonna feel after it. That's the really weird thing. I've worn skinny jeans, which actually might be a bad idea. And, and another thing, is that I don't know how many people are going to be there because it's a training session. So I could be lying there like with no trousers on and there could be a whole audience. I really don't know. And I think they're going to film it as well. That was the deal. They were like, if you let us film it, then you can have it done for free. <laughs> it, could be, it could be really cool. I hope it works. If it does work, this could be really groundbreaking. They were basically saying that um, they do this thing where they have a specific laser that targets stubborn areas of fat. So they said that they typically use it on like love handle areas, fat above the knee, um, stomach. Like they do, they ha they spot target certain areas. And one of the guys that um, works there, he actually showed me his before and after. He had it done on his stomach and it does look amazing. He said that when he had it done, it doesn't, there's not an instant result. He said it takes probably about six weeks for you to start seeing it go down. But he was like, once it starts going down, it goes down really quickly. So I'm in the room, I'm gonna have this done. The, the guys, they're stood behind me. Do you wanna be in the film? Yeah. Do you wanna be in it? Hello. Hi. <laughs> we were talking as well about a different procedure that you can have done, which freezes it, but leaves lumps. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna be doing something where there's no downtime. I'm hoping it doesn't hurt. Apparently, you heat up the fat, and then as soon as you can't take it, even before that kicks in, it cools down. Get your legs and arms and then the legs. <laughs> Are you joking? If you wanted to show the laser. Yeah, the this is yeah, a good that's point. The, that's the laser. Right? So this is it, guys. This is the laser, and then they basically they like stick that onto the fat area. And that's what does it, that's what gets rid of it. And apparently you literally get tied down for this. Is that because it's so painful? Not tied down, distract, distracted. Okay, yeah. all right, distracted. Right. This is my worst side as well, so. Yeah, um, your, your right side is yeah. bigger. So yeah. they're still gonna be uneven when, we, when they get smaller. Yeah, yeah that's true, yeah. Bit, but what you can then do is have another treatment on the onion. Oh my god, so hang on, is that on? Uh, it's just, it just clipped it. It's not no, oh my god, because I was like, I was like, it hurts, it hurts. Well, it's not even on. I'm actually terrified right now. You'll be absolutely fine. Oh, you'll be fine. It, you will be fine. It will be oh, there's one on each side. Oh, yeah. I get it. Oh, okay. So we've got four lasers here, and they just get spread across the area. Four times, four times the pain. <laughs> I'm done thinking about that. Oh, it pinches the fat, doesn't it? Four times, is it pinching? Yeah. Am I, on this one? Yeah. Pinching. So although we're targeting these areas, it has like a feathering effect on the rest of the area. So you won't just get this area treated, it will feather around here. So okay. it will become nice and even. So it gives you a nice natural result. Now I'm going to turn the laser on. 
Just let me know that you can feel cool in. You want me to turn it up? Or it doesn't move or you don't care? Yeah, it feels cold. Yeah, good. So that's the element that just makes the treatment more comfortable for you. It keeps your skin nice and safe. Is it doing something? Yeah, I can feel it burning. Burning? Yeah. Uh, for me, the first two minutes were quite intense. Actually, it's not that bad. So how long does the how long does, is this going to take? This is 25 minutes. 25 minutes. And then how long will it take to see the results? Uh, six weeks. Six to eight weeks. Six, six to eight weeks. Do you only need one session? We recommend two sessions. Okay. Six weeks apart. Two se Okay. I don't know what I was imagining, but um, this is this is fine. Okay, guys. So I've been doing this now for about two to three minutes, and the guys just gave me this card. So you know, I told you I was like, doesn't hurt, doesn't hurt. It's starting. It doesn't hurt. It feels so hot, and then just when you think you can't take it, it goes really cold, and it's fine. And apparently, you've just got to yeah, suck this up her, for 20 but, minutes. Um, it is pretty hot. Uh, no, yeah, uh, it's getting hot again. No worries. I think I'm at number three at the moment. But every so often it goes to number four, and that's when it's horrible. But it's just for a second. It's not moderate warmth, though. It's very hot. Yeah, you don't want to have a moderate warmth. Oh, okay. Comfortable. Yeah. Like you want to be on the edge like, okay, this is as much as I can take it. We are done. Towards the end there, the machine, like they ramp the machine up uh, and get it higher and higher. And at the end, it was pretty hot. I will tell you that. I'm looking forward to having this taken off, but I'm even more looking forward to seeing what the results could be. There's because literally no marks on the skin. That because, is so weird. Because the action happens underneath. Just see. I'm never confused. So guys, I'm trying on these two shoes and I've got either the nude or the black. I really like the black ones. They're both really nice. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go for these ones. Yeah. Okay, so I really want to show you what I got and I was going to do it when I got home but I'm actually in my pyjamas at the moment. These are from the new collection and if you want these I'm just going to do this so that you can see all of the details there. I, I wasn't sure to be honest what I thought of the new collection and I don't love the bags but when it comes to shoes I don't mind being a bit more crazy. Oh my god for a minute I thought they were scuffed, they're not right. This is them. And I know that they are quite a wild shoe. They're not gonna be to everyone's taste, but the shoe that I'm gonna compare them to, I don't think is to everyone's taste either. Last summer, the shoe that I felt was just like an it shoe was this. It is the Chanel Grandma shoe. Surprisingly, this looks way better on than it does as I'm showing you it here. I'm looking at this here and it's like the sort of thing that my grandmother would actually legit have in her wardrobe. But when you wear them with like ripped jeans, they look really good and yeah, just take my word for it. And also they're quite comfortable. But I have a feeling these are gonna be like the new alternative to the Chanel slingback. They are so comfortable. This has got a... Um, 100 millimeter heel which is 10 centimeters actually doesn't feel that much when you're wearing it there's no concealed platform in this at all and also you can get this in a lower heel you can get it in like a kitten heel the colors that this comes in um you can get the black patent i'm sure because these have just come out i'm sure they're going to start doing these in different colors you could also the other shoe that i tried on which i liked equally the nude didn't have this design but it was all like nude leather with like a bow on the side of it they had that colour, they also had grey, I think. 
I would have probably preferred something that was matte, but that wasn't an option. It was just Peyton, and I and I like them. I do like them. As I say, I wasn't sure what I thought about this, the bringing back of the Jador. It sort of feels a bit year 2000 for me, but um, I wouldn't buy a bag, but I think on a shoe where I'm, I know I'm gonna wear this to death anyway, I don't worry so much. Let's put these two together and do like a quick comparison. So the Chanel there, you can still get these. I don't think if you bought them that you're gonna be not able to wear them this season. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I've seen a lot of people already wearing them in hotter climates. And then this is the Dior. And I'll just give you, let you see what they, oh yeah, sizing before I forget. Normally, I am always a 39.5 in designer shoes. Oh, this camera, come on, focus, man. You get it together. There we go. In pretty much every shoe, I'm a 39 and a half. But in these, I was 39. So I think they are a little bit large to size because they've got a slingback. When I tried on the larger size, the slingback sort of came off a little bit when I walked. So um, something for you to bear in mind. 